When using Podio to manage projects, something that comes up often is timesheets. Um, and there's a lot of apps in the Podio app marketplace for timesheets, and they all work in a very similar fashion where you kind of have one bucket or one timesheet app where people put their time in. The problem is that reporting and control is a little bit difficult because in some situations you want to make sure that all employees are putting in all their time and you need to be able to re report on this and control it. So if you just have this one bucket, it's very difficult to firstly see at a project level how many hours have been used and it's also difficult to see per employee and per day how much time has been entered. So the solution we've come up with here um, uses a concept called a time card and we're using Podio Flow to automate pretty much all of this. Um, and just as a side note, this is demo data just for illustration purposes, but this is how we use it ourselves internally at Globy Web Solutions. So with time cards, Podio Flow generates a new time card for every employee every weekday. Um, and then when it comes to timesheets, instead of having to put in the employee details, people then or employees pick their actual time card of that day and then assign their time and then assign it to a task, work, order, deliverable or project. This all rolls up. Now the way we have the setup is projects then consist of deliverables and deliverables can have tasks. Work orders are outside of projects and that's kind of like a maintenance request or other time and materials work and they can have tasks as well. Um, employees are then allowed to or can through the Timesheets app build time either to a task, to a work order, to a deliverable or to a project. And all of the numbers add up. So the way we have to do this is to have direct hours on all of these which means all the time that's been directly assigned to the project and then indirect hours which come from deliverables or from tasks. If you look at this as an example project, we have 46 hours and 15 minutes already being used up in timesheets. Um, looking at deliverables, one of them here has eight hours already used in timesheets for this one deliverable. We have a work order here. Um, this one, as an example, has got three hours. And tasks which are assigned to these. Now, as I said, you can assign time directly to a project deliverable or work order, but to show the whole flow in process here, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to use tasks so that we see all the calculations. You'll notice here on the time cards, we're able to see exactly how many hours each employee has put in every day. And the nice little side report widgets in Podio gives us a nice overview um, these are just set up to be for the last seven days, but we can see by employee how many hours have been done and by date how many hours are in there. So it's easy to spot if an employee is not entering their time. So I'm going to go ahead here and put in a new timesheet entry and just call it test work on project. And I'm putting 3 hours and 30 minutes. And this is project work. And I'm going to select a task which I know belongs to the CMS deliverable of the alpha project, which we looked at earlier. <clears throat> That'll be this task here. And when I save that and give Podio Flow a few seconds to kick in, on my time cards now, my time for the day has gone from 1 hour to 4 hours and 30 minutes. The task, due delta, is now, is now up at 7 hours. If I look at the deliverable for the CMS, it was previously 8 hours. It's now 11 hours and 30 minutes in total. And if I look at the project, it's gone from 46 hours and 15 minutes to 40 nine hours 45 minutes. Now I can do the same thing for a work order here or let's look at the work order first so we can confirm all this math. 
Yankee Doodle has got three hours directly billed to it. Nothing, sorry, three hours indirectly billed to it through the way of tasks. And if I look at the task, there's only one against Yankee Doodle, and that's Lima Bean, which has the three hours here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go and create another timesheet entry for the same day. I'm going to call this test work order work. And I'm going to use three hours and 30 minutes again because I want my daily total to be eight hours. This will be time and materials. And the task was Lima Bean. I hit save. Give Podio Flow a few seconds to kick in. And if I look at my time cards now, or now, I am up at a full eight hours for the day. If I look at the task I just built time against, the Lima Bean went from three hours to six hours, 30 minutes automatically. And if I look at the work order, Yankee Doodle's gone from three hours to six hours and 30 minutes.